Welcome to episode three of the series, Great Historical Landmarks of Southampton Football Club. And I'm stood here on St. Mary's Road, which was where the first regular home of Southampton Football Club stood. Many Saints fans will know that that was called the Antelope Ground, but it's long since been demolished and not many people know either where it was stood or anything about it other than the fact that it's a name in that. Saints moved there after Hampshire County Cricket Club moved out of it and the actual site of the ground was just behind me here and it's marked by a plaque. The plaque sadly enough only commemorates the fact that Hampshire Cricket Club played here from 1839 to 1884 which was when they moved to the county ground in Bordlands Road which became the permanent home of Hampshire Cricket and for a while the home of Southampton Football Club. But Saints moved in here shortly after their formation in 1885 and it became a regular ground for them for several years until they outgrew it and eventually moved to the Dell. So we move on to where the ground was situated and it was just here in, this, in a field behind what is now or is still is the Royal Southampton Hospital. Uh, the ground was enclosed and it had several small grounds and could hold a capacity of around about 6,000, which was tested sometimes. But uh, of course, in those days, they didn't have turnstiles and they didn't keep gate receipts and gate numbers too accurately. So Southampton played here for a number of years till in 1896, they moved to the county ground itself, where they played for a couple of years before moving to the Dell. But hopefully now watching this, You'll know a little bit more about the Antelope Ground as we move on to episode four of our series, which will be with you in a week. So keep tuning into the Ugly Inside video channel to watch this great landmarks of Southampton Football Club and other series on the channel.